Okay, everybody. I don't usually get to review anything except fidget spinners, but I've got the opportunity to review this 360 hybrid 180 VR 180 camera from Insta360 to the Evo. And in this nice selfie stick, as you can see, actually very nice selfie stick that attaches to its tripod so you can use it as a tripod. But what you can also do with it is really, really cool is you can convert it by using this lock. It's a little finicky, but it works. You just gotta snap it in there. And when it's in that form, you can take VR videos, which you've seen a couple of them on my channel. Maybe, because not many people are watching. So is VR 180 just a gimmick? I mean, 360 is kind of cool for roller coasters and point of view. Um, when you look up the VR 180 videos that are out there, what you're gonna find mostly are models. Yes, sexy models like myself. You see, VR 180 may be only good for something that starts with a P and ends with an N, and you guys figure out the two remaining letters, or you don't, but that's highbrow humor, and we don't do that on this, yeah, we always do that on this channel, nobody gets it though. All right, so you got this uh, cool camera, and I always mess up which way to lock it. Okay, so in that form, it's locked, and you can take VR. So when you use your VR headset, like an Oculus, which I don't have, a Google, Google Cardboard device works fine. Your phone gets hot though after a while when you're using those things, at least mine does. But um, it's pretty cool. And when I shot those videos, I was really impressed with this camera actually. Um, I, that's why I got this versus the Insta One X because the, three, in, the uh, th three, Insta 360 One X has been touted by so many people and it's a great camera, um, does 360. And that's all it does. And if that's all you're interested in, then that's all you should do. Um, get one of those. But this is kind of neat for a little bit extra, not very much extra. It does everything the One X does, but the VR 180 feature, which is what I was interested in. And I want to do some more 3D prints, some more models. Uh, this YouTube channel is just not growing. It's not getting anywhere, and I don't know how to uh, change that. So. I was just in a hot tub, that's why there's fireworks going on out there, of course. Um, and that's why I'm wet, and in a robe. And originally, I wanted to do hot tub reaction videos in 360. My wife said, nah, -uh, we ain't gonna do that. It's exactly how she said it, too. Um, so, uh, we're not gonna do those, unfortunately. I'd really like to, I'd like to start a new channel. Somebody's gonna take that idea and run with it, and they're gonna be so successful with it. But, no. I'm just gonna keep doing little old me stuff. Um, I don't know what that's gonna be. But this camera is pretty neat. I'm so, so it's only been a couple weeks. I've done a few 360 videos. I haven't really posted many of them. The workflow and the app are a little, I wanted to make some videos about that. The app for Android is confusing to connect to the phone. And uh, I wanted to show that it's usually connects, but the it feels like you're in an endless loop when it's asking you the prompts at least on my phone, and uh, but you are connected. You just gotta say, ignore, I don't care. And you look at what you are, you are connected. I'll, I'll do a review on that. I wanna do some more um, informative things on how to use this camera, so in case you get one, which you might want to. Um, I was gonna do the video, originally I was thinking in my head, who is this camera for, what is it, and um, should you get one? I don't know, um, I think it's kinda neat. Um, I did 360 with an SJ cam. Um, it wasn't very good, and I didn't like it. And I sat on a lot of videos, and they just they were horrible. Um, it was grainy. It had horrible. It, it, so a couple years later, I think it's finally getting to a point where the average consumer can use one of these and be satisfied. I've seen some really awesome things with the. Uh, with just the 360 mode and being able to reframe and stuff and doing the tiny planets, which I experimented with a little bit. Um, I'd like to do a little bit of integration with some of the uh, SFM VR, well, 360 or 180 and, and maybe do some live action on top of it, like composite it and stuff. So those are some of the things I wanna work with and it's a really neat camera and I'm really happy that they 
took a chance on me to make a review. I know this review is going to do horrible. And uh, unless maybe I pose a little more. Because I'm too sexy for my cat. Too sexy for my cat. What you think about that? Okay. So anyway, I'm no model. You know what I mean. But I've got this little model right here. And it's pretty cool. So if you uh, want to hear more and see more on future videos, then smash that like button and give me a chance so I can dance. Um, but I just wanted to get a, a video out there because this week is like Amazon Prime Week and these are going to be 20%, everything's going to be 20% off on their stuff. As, and I guess that, that would probably make it more, you know, palatable for you as far as how much they cost. Um, I have affiliate links which nobody will use, but if you wanted to help me out and you were interested in one of these cameras, then if you clicked one of those, it would give me something, I don't know, 5% maybe. But, um, I don't, whatever. But, uh, I'm excited to make some more videos with this. That's probably all I'm going to be doing for, for the foreseeable future on this channel. Um, I, it's really kind of an exciting technology and I want to explore it. So, that's all I got to say about the Insta360 Evo. Um, pretty neat, and hope you guys will watch some of my videos that I make.